Hello everyone, I'm Salad, and welcome back to Bioshock. Last time, we learned about Fo a guy named Fontaine, uh, who apparently took over this place from Ryan, rather forcefully, by introducing, I believe, the concept of Adam and Eve and Splicers and all these other things. Basically messed this whole place up. And we also got confirmation that Little Sisters are indeed humans, or at least they used to be. And uh, we also fought a guy who likes photography, who apparently didn't like our photos very much, uh, and ended up trying to kill us. So that wasn't great. And now we've apparently got a loading screen. So uh, interesting place for me to leave off last time, right before a loading screen. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We got a ca our camera that we got. We can use it to find weaknesses of opponents. So that's pretty neat. And. If I recall, I did change the difficulty to Legendary again. And just for regular enemies, we'll see how that goes. It's really only, so far, the big daddies that have been a... Whoa! A problem on higher difficulties. So those were f photos? Was those, was, were those photos of our past? Or... Or Atlas? Okay, he's near the submarine bay, but he can't get in, and his family is his family's supposed to be in the submarine bay. Alright. We got another Vita chamber, which means we're gonna be respawning here quite a bit, I miss I assume. Because we always die. Um, anything I need from this? Mm, I don't think so. Uh Numo? I got a corpse. What else do we have? Oh! What? That's a turret, that's a turret, that's a turret. Okay, I didn't take a lot of damage there. Am I really on the highest difficulty? Yeah, I am. Okay. Just making sure. Uh, how do I want to deal with this? I wonder, do, uh, do turrets have weak points? Uh, you know what? I, I, it probably is not a good idea to try to do that. Um, do I want to just whack it and use up my life? I think so. Charge! Charge! There we go. I think that was worth it. <laughs> so there was a red barrel next to it, though. Is Was that red barrel explosive? I guess I'll never know, because I'm not going to waste ammo shooting at it to try to find out. Okay, we got a hypo and more shotgun shells. Cool. The shotgun so far has been the most useful weapon, which is why I chose to upgrade it last time. New diary, okay. We all come down here. Figured we all be part of Ryan's great chain. <laughs> Turns out Ryan's chain is made of gold, and ours are the sort with the big iron ball around your ankle. He's up in Fort Frolic banging fashion models. Fort We're Frolic, okay. Yanking guts out of fish. Fontaine's promising something better. He's like uh, one of us, you know? Like he's worked the day. <laughs> he says meet him at his fish packing joint at 11. I'll go, bring a couple of guys. Hey, it's not like things could get a lot worse. I think things could get a lot worse. And, uh, that guy probably ended up finding out how much fun it was. How much fun it was to work for Fontaine. Okay, so we're gonna actually meet Atlas directly now. Oh. Andrew Ryan, so Ryan is still around and he doesn't want us to let Atlas into the submarine bay? Why? So, I figured that Fontaine had complete control over this place at this point, but it seems like at, like uh, Ryan is still around and he still wants to keep control over this place? Is that what he's uh is that, is that what we're getting at here? I would figure that Ryan would want our help maybe to uh, get Fontaine out of here. 
Although, he doesn't have any reason to trust us either, I suppose, but still. Interesting that he's still around. He probably has his own faction still. Uh, okay, so this is the control panel. Got a Vita chamber. And I was told, uh, in a comment that you can apparently whack these more than once since it's on survivor mode to get a health pack? Oh, but you can't use it afterwards. Okay, so that's the disadvantage then, I understand. <clears throat> okay, so since this red barrel is near oil, I'm gonna assume that these explode. It's also next to what appears to be a gas canister. So, those explode. Pretty much guaranteed. I've probably seen that happen at some point already, but I probably forgot. Well, I definitely forgot. So, there was that control panel up there to let him in. But it seems like there's still a lot we could do here. And I'm wondering if the game is giving us a choice here. Spent a morning, John, with that crowd scientist. She's damaged goods, all right. Oh, this is Fontaine Just speaking. Like all those chumps they scraped out of them prison camps. But she's no crackpot. She's gonna make the kind of scratch that'll have Ryan look like he's running a paper route. She just needs some supplies to get the ball rolling and a friend to watch her back. I see. Okay, so I think we um, we heard some journals from the German scientist earlier, and she had all sorts of stuff that she wanted to do without being restricted. So it sounds like Fontaine allows her to do that. And Fontaine is just using her to get money? It's interesting that money would be the thing that would be uh, pushing Fontaine forward. I would expect, um, considering the fact that, considering the perspectives that all these other characters have had, wanting to make people look beautiful or wanting to create a, like, do all sorts of crazy experiments, that Fontaine would only be motivated by money. Something as simple as money. We'll see if that ends up truly being the case. Okay, so this is a submarine. Can you hear me, family in the soap? Are they making any noise at all? Uh, I don't see anything. I doubt his family's in the sub. Ryan probably has something else sealed in the sub? I don't know. Uh, okay. Nothing to see here. Alright, maybe we do have to go up and press that thingy. I'm gonna guess we do. Because I don't see anything else to do here. There's this, but... I think that needs to be activated after we do the thing upstairs. So let's go do that. Alright, so I guess we're not getting a choice. Interesting that we have these explosive barrels here, but no enemies. I assume that means that some enemies are going to spawn here. Alright, here we go. Run. Oh! Uh-oh. Um. Am I supposed to know what that- oh! Is that him? Uh, it's probably not going to go well for him. So, Parker, if only your friend could look up and see, maybe, maybe only you could do something, anything, except just stand here and watch him. I, I can't do anything? Oh. Is he really going to die this early on? Okay, it sounds like he's gonna get out safely. That's good. At least I assume it's good. Uh. Oh, that was a terrible shot. 
Get down here. No, no, don't do that. I don't know what that is, but don't throw it at me. There we go. Okay, that works. Uh, wait, I was using inter personnel rounds? I guess that's fine. I mean, it, it is a personnel. Alright. So we got splicers. Come on. There we go. Okay, so it only takes one shot, but there is a delay. Ow. Alright, that works. Yeah, these guys aren't too bad. Even on survivor mode. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting out. There's no need to panic. We'll be all right. Um, let's electrocute him. Wait, 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 wait. He's reloading. Let's wait for him to reload. Ow. Okay, maybe that's not the best plan. Yeah, I think it's better just to... Wow. She did not get stunned. I don't know why exactly. Maybe I missed somehow at point blank. Um, does this heal me? A little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, there goes the way out of here. And also your family, maybe? And you're going to try to eliminate it because you don't know what I am. But Ryan just said that he doesn't think that we're from the CIA and we, uh, we sneak in like an assassin. Does that mean we're not CIA, maybe? Is he right? Get out and get Arcadia? So was his family really in there? Guess we won't really know. Well, hopefully we'll find his family somewhere else later. Didn't look like there was anyone in there. The Irish pork pie offered me a deal. I flip him Fontaine and I walk out of here. That simple. I know that fat fuck isn't Fontaine's guy. How do I know they're not all Fontaine's guy? Fontaine's got Adam, and everybody wants it. Brian's got a whole lot of talk and a nice suit. Even down here, any idiot can see which way the wind is blowing. Okay, so, yeah, a lot of people just don't trust Ryan, and they trust Fontaine more. Because he's a, uh, he's a people's man or something. He's not, doesn't have a fancy suit. Honestly, a pretty silly reason to not trust somebody or to trust somebody, but I guess that's how it is. Upgrade your weapons at a power to the people station. Yep, we certainly will. Every time we find more of those. I'd be tempted to upgrade my pistol since I like it so much, but it's probably not the best idea. Well, if you wanted to kill us, you could have waited till we got in the thing. You came to rob what you could never build. A hub gaping at the gates of Rome. Even the air you breathe is sponged from my account. Well, breathe deep. So later you might remember the taste. Well, Ryan's not wrong. We've seemingly come here to steal stuff.
Okay, go to the bathosphere in in the in whatever the place he said was, and then that'll apparently take us to Ryan. So, my question is, why was uh, Atlas's family here in the first place? Were they just just so happened to be living here, and then Atlas got sent on a mission to go here and steal stuff like we did? Uh, I'm only assuming that we came here to steal stuff. I, I still can't imagine what else it could be, and Ryan seems to believe that also. And I don't think that Ryan's wrong. Ryan built this place with um, with his own money and maybe some investors' money as well. And we've come here to steal his creations and Fontaine's, or maybe Fontaine's creations. I don't really know at this point. And yeah, it, it doesn't really make too much. I mean, it makes sense why Atlas is mad, his family dying and all that. But when you get sent on a mission to go and steal stuff from this place that's already really damaged and we're basically just being opportunistic, you can't feel too... Uh, I mean, you can feel bad for him, but you, you, you gotta understand that it, it makes sense that he would want to defend his home. This is Ryan's home. This is a place he built with his... Uh, built on his own. This is his pride, and we've come here just to rob it? Makes sense that, it, that if a robber comes to your house, you'd want to take a shotgun and shoot at him. So, I can understand why, uh, why Ryan would do that. Although, if he wanted to kill us, he should have waited till we got inside the, uh, the submarine there. But, yeah, poor Atlas. Lost his family there. I don't know what Atlas was sent here for, if or, even, or if he was even sent here in the first place for anything. Maybe he was a spy? I don't know. Spy sent here with his family so to not look suspicious. What the heck is this place? Yeah, those are just buildings. Really small buildings, by the way. Based on the perspective I'm getting here. That doesn't really make any sense. But, like, what is all this? Is this a, a mortuary? <laughs> the tea garden. Okay. We've got proximity mines. I can't carry any more though. Liquid nitrogen. For what? Why did I get liquid nitrogen? And why are they giving me so many weapons? This makes me think that we're gonna be fighting something big. Okay. Yeah, I just robbed a grave, so that was great. Um Is that Proximity Mine Frag Grenade? So it's it's not it's not liquid nitrogen isn't for that weapon. It's not for that. Yeah, I don't know what the liquid nitrogen is for. Weird. Are we gonna get some sort of freezing weapon or something? I have no idea. Christ, is somebody there? Uh yeah? Oh, not friendly, okay. Oh! Okay. Is this guy trying to trick me? I feel like that guy is, is saying, oh, please help me, and he's gonna come and shoot me. Yep, I have. Genetic sampling, huh? Lunatics, rebellion, and now bleeding ghosts. Ain't life in Ratchet Rat. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not a great place. Oh, we got some film. I forgot that uh, film is a limited resource. Oh, Jesus, God, somebody help! All right, I do not trust this guy in the slightest. So if I see him, I'm gonna electrocute him immediately. All right, cool. The augmentation procedure is a this is the this is the German the lady. Could not provide enough atom for serious work, but combined with the host, now we have something. The slug is embedded in the lining of the host's stomach, and after the host feeds, we induce regurgitation, and then we have 20, 30 times yield of usable atom. 
The problem now is the shortage of hosts. Fontaine says patience, Tannenbaum. Soon, the first home for little sisters will open, and that problem will be solved. It's forced regurgitation. That does not sound fun. So they fed these uh, worms to people, and then they fed, and then you they vomited them out? <laughs> okay, so it sounds like they, they did the same thing, but for little sisters, except... They don't seem to be vomiting out any worms. Uh, unless that's what, how we're saving them. What? What is with that effect? Okay. Everything's ready. Flowers, bottle of wine, even two tickets to the tea garden. Nothing gets the Bettys in the mood like nighttime in Arcadia. Now I just gotta stop by the thrifty care to pick up a med hypo, just to be safe. Word is, this ain't Angelina's first visit to the tea garden. Okay, sounds like some people are okay with the crazily spliced up appearance of people. All right. I don't think I can hop over that. So I guess I do have to go over to where this guy is. And we are not going to mess around with him. Okay, they're over there. We got weird footstep noises. Wait, this way. No, you don't. I don't trust you in the slightest. Okay, he just disintegrated. Who did that? You! You got some sort of weird teleporting powers. Alright, I need to reload. I need to heal. And I need to electrocute him. He's almost dead. Wow, and that wasn't that wasn't a boss, that was a regular enemy, but he was pretty tough. Very interesting, I like that. Some of these uh some of these splicers have really cool abilities. Abilities that we'll probably unlock ourselves later on. What is he called? A Houdini splicer. Can I take a picture of him while he's dead? Does that work? Penalty, subject is dead. Okay, the fact that he's dead makes it more difficult, apparently. But we still got it. Uh, new research level reached. Can we research like multiple levels? Uh, increased damage plus two DD splicers are vulnerable to anti-personnel rounds. Okay, well, I mean, I could have figured that out on myself, but it's good that we get increased damage against them now. Just from scanning them. I like that feature. Today, Arcadia was closed off to all but paying customers. The man hires me to build a forest at the bottom of the ocean and then turns a walk in the woods into a luxury. Riot asked, should a farmer not be able to sell his food? Is a potter not entitled to a profit from his pots? <sighs> I started to argue with the man and then I remembered who signed my checks. The only thing worse than a hypocrite is an unemployed one. Hmm. I mean, Ryan's perspective, perspective makes sense, but also in a place like this, you definitely want people to be able to not go insane, and you probably want them to have uh, parks and things like that that are free. Who is Atlas? Oh! What? Who is Atlas? Is Was Atlas a... <clears throat> seems like Atlas was a bigger figure here than I thought. If he's got po posters about him. <clears throat> was Atlas uh, like Ryan's right hand man or something? Something like that? Who knows? Uh, yeah, we don't need to swap gene upgrades. Okay, so. That's that. There were still areas down here that we didn't go. We got money. Uh, okay, there's a way over this way. Let 
We need that. Okay, good. All charged up. Got frag grenade. Good. Because I was missing one. And I can't carry any more frag grenades. So I think I just wasted that. Hmm. Alright, so we got spare frags. That's good. I think we're all ready if we fight another boss. Uh, where are we going here? I'm guessing I missed something. Back upstairs. Let's see. Uh, there's this. Ah, yeah, here we go. Okay, let's not die. Not yet. There we go. That works. Phew. Uh, Anti-personnel rounds would be the good idea here. Did you say, how can I help you if you won't come to me? I don't think I want your help. Okay, that guy stopped appearing. Interesting. Is he in here? These are enemies, right? They don't have icons. They're not red, I mean. Oh, that's a turret. Uh, okay, they're enemies. Clearly enemies. Okay, anti-personnel rounds work really well against these guys. Ow. He's gonna reload? Yep. He's gonna reload. Okay. Waiting for the reload helps a lot. Um, but against a turret, I think I'm screwed. Uh, I could try armor piercing on them. On it. Does it reload? I doubt. Oh, maybe it does. Does this work? I think I'm missing. Nope, I'm hitting. There we go. Okay, that works. As long as we wait for reloads, we can, we can deal with stuff. I have no pistol ammo, and I'm not happy about that. I love my pistol. Alright, we're gonna have to stick with the machine gun for a bit. Oh, he's got pistol ammo. There we go. Good, good, good. Ooh, more armor piercing rounds. Good, because I just wasted some. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got a lot of money, so... Napalm and liquid nitrogen, what are these for? For the chemical thrower. Okay, so... Spoilers, we're gonna be getting a chemical thrower. Film, first aid kits, and Eve hypos. I don't know if I want any of this yet. I think I'm still okay for now. We'll come back here if I know I need a specific thing. Crawl space, that's interesting. We'll go look, look in there in a second. Another one. There's a bunch of these and a safe. Okay, I'm glad I'm looking around. Finding these things. Oh. Um. Nope. We'll deal with that in a second. Uh. Okay, before we try the safe, maybe we can find the code to it somewhere. So let's check in here. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, I, I apparently killed him. Did he start bleeding from my, uh, from my rounds? Proximity mine. I still have plenty of those. I have not been using any of that because I'm still saving it in case we run into a big daddy. Or a, uh, a boss battle. 
Okay, attack the safe now. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> game, uh, game lagged a little bit there. I was worried it was gonna crash. Okay, we've got auto hacks. Should I just use one? Yes, I will. Okay, we've got napalm and anti-personnel rounds and a battery. I actually don't know what batteries do. Oh, this can be opened, right? Okay, electric buck. An empty hypo. What do I use an empty hypo for? Can I refill those? Hold on a second. Okay, this is not my inventory. Do I have an inventory somewhere? I think I do, but I don't remember how to get to it. Let me check the keybinds. Okay, there's the map. Weapons, snacks and medicinals, gin, etc, etc. Okay, so that tells me what everything does. But I don't think I have an inventory or anything like that. As far as I know. Oh, right, these are the, the different messages I can replay. My goal is to go to the metro station. This is the map. We know all about that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what the empty hypo is, what it does. It didn't seem to give me any uh, meager amounts of uh, Eve. So that's not it. I like the prestige. Who is whistling? There we go. Is this someone above me? I wish this was uh, like Hunt Showdown and I could shoot him through the ground. I don't think that'll work. Hello there. What is this person doing? Wow, they're, why are they tanky? I am, I have no Eve. I need to switch to my machine gun and not die here. Okay. I need to stop being bad. Wait till he reloads. You're a woman. A woman. Never mind. Okay, finally he reloads. Jeez. How many rounds you got in that thing? Alright, these guys seem to be... Those guys seem to be tankier for some reason. Alright, where is... Uh, there was a healing station, wasn't there? Huh. Never mind. Thought there was one. <laughs> Kerosene. Yeah, we get all sorts of stuff. Don't exactly know what it all does. Oh! I... I should have known that was a tripwire. Or, actually, it was just a wire. It wasn't even a, um, explosive. And I just ran right into it. Okay, now we know. Watch out for wires. I'm gonna hope we run into a healing station. I'm low on anti-personnel rounds now. And my pistol sells very little ammo. I wish it had more. Oh. Okay, so they're all killing each other. That's good. We can let them do that. All right, I have to use a med kit. Uh, can I swim? Oh, this, I don't need to. Okay. That seems like a uh, another tripwire over there. place has a complicated layout. Wait, what's that? That's... That's another big daddy. Okay, now they're fighting each other. They were staring at each other earlier. Okay, yeah. Keep fighting it. Actually, maybe I should help her out. This is actually a perfect time to unload. 
while he's distracted. All right, I'm out. Okay. Now I need my, uh, no, not that. I need this. Get me out of here. That didn't do as much as I expected. And I killed myself on him. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, that that's worked really well when uh, when they were distracted. Oh my gosh! Ow. I'm gonna die here, but it's fine. So that's two deaths against him so far. I think we only... I think we can get him on the next time. Uh, make sure I'm loaded. I am. I'm out. I'm out. This is also out. This is not. Stop it. Oh my gosh, if this guy wasn't, <laughs> if that guy wasn't there, I think I would have been able to take the, uh, the big daddy out. I need to, I need to finish him off. There we go. And we will rescue again. There we go. Even in the gathering dark, you light a candle. You have saved the little one when you might have shown your cruelty. I am sending something your way to demonstrate our thanks. Oh? A teddy bear at Gatherer's Garden. Okay, just like last time. Oh, right there. Oh, there's more, multiple of them now. What are you doing still here? Oh, you're waiting in line. Got it. We got item. Oh. New engineering tonic, safe cracker. Let's see into places that they want to keep you out, splice it now and get hacking. Does this use Eve to auto hack things? Uh, reduces difficulty when hacking safes and combo locks versus speedy hacker and security expert. I don't remember what those do. Wait, what do those do? Okay, we'll figure it out later. I accidentally uh, replaced one of them without being able to see what it did. Uh, every time you hack something, you get health. That's interesting. I think we've seen that before. Bots and turrets. More health from those things. That might be good. Um, let's do this. Because we're always running out of Eve. Uh, fewer overload tiles. Prices. Wait, plasmids use less Eve. Those are the only things that use Eve. So it's not just, so why would we not get that? Uh, I think medical excerpt probably makes us use less. Yeah, first aid kits to give you slightly more health. Slightly more, eh, let's get more, uh, let's get more Eve. That's what we've been running out of more than health lately. Less damage from fire. Launches splicers into the air and hurts them badly on the way down. A cyclone trap. Okay, we don't need any more ways to take care of splicers. We're we're good on that. Electrobolt too. I wanted to see what that did. I didn't want to actually buy it, but that's good that we have Electrobolt too. That's the most useful uh, ability we have so far. We've got um, unrelenting force shout here from Skyrim, so that's cool. Increases our max and max health. Uh, combat tonic. Oh, unlock a slot. That's important. We do need slots. In fact, let's just get slots for everything. Except for plasmid slots. We don't need its plasmid slots. We've actually already got uh, enough plasmid slots. And now I'm out, which, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. So, can I... I need to re-equip those at a special terminal, right? What's this? 
bot shutdown panel. A rubber hose. Yeah, what is like what is a rubber hose for? Um, alright, do I want to use this or smash it? Let's hack it first and then use it and then we'll smash it. There we go, easy. Alright, now we can heal and then we can whack it. And get a medkit. Perfect. Alright. That's exactly what we want. Yeah, I can't I can't re-equip stuff here, right? Yeah, I can't. Okay. Yeah, so next time we're gonna wanna get more slots though. Not plasmid slots, but um maybe engineering uh, or physical slots. Because those are the ones that I think I actually need. Okay, good. It auto-equipped Electro Bolt 2. That's what I was worried about. I was worried we would not get the upgraded version and we have to go equip it. But we got it. So, what's the difference between Electro Bolt 1 and 2? I don't know. Maybe it, uh, maybe it lasts longer. I only hope that it doesn't use more Eve. Oh, here we go. Um, so, these are the combat ones. Increased wrench damage. Quiet your footsteps increases damage from melee attacks on unaware opponents. We haven't actually used that much, but um, we probably should. A middle burst of electricity when we're struck. So we also have armored shell reduces all physical damage. I think we need I think we need that right now. We really do. We need to be able to take less damage. So we'll put that on. Um, next, it would be good to get an engineering slot so we can see what else we have here. So we can equip all of our stuff. Uh, safe cracker. Reduce difficulty when hacking turrets, bossy cameras. I, I don't do that much. This one might be nice. And then, do we have any others of this? Yeah, Eve Saver. Plasmids use less Eve. And Medical Expert to give slightly more health. So right now we're... Uh, we're going to be set to use as little Eve as possible, I guess. Uh, man, this place is confusing. I don't know which way is which. <laughs> okay, so I think this is the right way to go. In that case. Uh, what's... Oh, here we go. Lore. There has been tremendous pressure to regulate this plasmid business. Awesome. There have been side effects. Blindness, insanity. But what use is our ideology? If it is not tested, the market does not respond like an infant, shrieking at the first sign of displeasure. The market is patient, and we must be too. Okay. I just got heat-seeking rockets. I assume that's for this, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so now in addition to frag grenades and proximity mines, we now have heat-seeking RPG. Okay, that's wonderful. All right, we are uh, we are definitely all set still. Then it would be good to get more frag grenades back, though. Another hack tool, armor piercing rounds, exploding buck, personnel rounds. Let's buy some exploding bucks, but first we'll hack and we'll do it manually. There we go, easy. All right, now we can buy some exploding bucks because those are going to be helpful. Anything that helps us against uh, larger opponents is wonderful. If only it sold frag grenades. Okay, we got more trip mines here. And that's lore, so I need to go down there and get that. Oh! Okay, apparently there is a turret. <coughs> What I want to know is, are they going to come up through this and get killed? Okay, that's a bunch of turrets. Let's not go there. There's more than one. We're just going to lose all our health. Let's, uh, let's try going through here. 